Jimmy, come on. Here we go. Come on, mate. Come on then. Yeah. I know there's a moped up there looking for a, an address, I think. Come on, mate. Come on. It's okay. Boy. It's all right, come on. It's okay. Come on, mate. Should we just give you your chicken? Yeah. Yeah, then. Quick. One. And two. Good boy. You want a third one? Come on, then. Come here. Here, Jim, do you want this? Jim. Come on. Come on, there's another one. Here. Oh, okay, he's not going to take the third one then. That's fine. Jimmy's back, but the moped that delivered up the road the last time was still there, a couple of doors down, just stopped around the corner here, so stopped him coming over. Come on then, Jim. Come on, mate. Bye. I'm just sat on my doorstep, getting a bit of fresh air. And who comes back? The dog, Jim Jim. One. Two. Okay. And off he goes. Jimmy's back. Come on, there's a car coming in a minute, I think. No, maybe not. No, it's reversing into its drive. Come on then, Jim, quick. Jim, Jim, come on. Are you coming? Come on. No, oh, you look tired, mate. There we go. We'll have a little break now, yeah? And off he goes. These two have been asleep for the last probably three hours. Magoo's sort of awake in the box. He's been in the box, out the box, in the box. I've been waiting for him to wake up to see if they wanted any food, but 
I think they've had quite an exhausting day today because they've been running around a lot even though I haven't captured it all on video because I've been quite busy today but yeah they're very peaceful sleepy at the moment I just sat indoors for about five minutes and this little guy came over Jimmy and I didn't come out because I was doing some other bits but I could see him on the camera and he just sits and waits unless something or somebody comes then obviously he runs but yeah he sits and he waits patiently bye then somebody must be coming down the road so after a video call today with steve at second chance fox rescue it would materialize that simon and magoo are possibly not brothers as simon it would appear to be between seven and ten days older than magoo which might explain the size difference between them um, on a good note magoo is doing really really well he hasn't had a seizure now for between two and a half and three days i can't work it out in hours um but yeah, he really has bucked up. He's got his oomph back, but not quite as much as he should have. He's eaten brilliantly. Um, he's put a lot of weight on yesterday and the day before. It'll be interesting to see what he weighs tomorrow. I mean, he was putting weight on every day, but not massive amounts. Now it's massive amounts. So I've got to keep an eye on what he does eat because obviously I don't want him to be a little barrel, bless his heart. Um, so yeah. It's all good. It's a relief. At least I can now sleep. Um, and I'm really enjoying the experience of, of having them. But I will only have them now for maybe another three weeks. And then they'll go back as they really need to start to mingle with the other foxes uh, before they get released out into the world later in the summer. So we will dehumanize them even though they're not too bad simon's a little bit more humanized than what magoo is to be fair because magoo doesn't like to have cuddles and stuff uh simon unfortunately likes to have that odd cuddle but he can't help it can he anyway we're doing good simon is great magoo is doing brilliantly Okay, so I just thought I'd give you that bit of news. So now we know the difference in size has an explanation. Oh, somebody's awake. Are you both awake? Yes, you are. You come in then? Do you want some food or are you going to have a wee first? Because one of you's just pooed and I've just had to take that out. You come in then? Come on. Come on. Come on, Magoo. Come on, baby. Right, come here. Come here. Come here, you little <laughs> Oh, I've missed him. He's gone under the sofa. Right, let me shut this door because I don't want him getting in the rest of the house. Okay. That's one lost under the sofa. Simon, come on. Right, Magoo, are you coming out? You coming? Come on, little fella. Do you want something to eat? Because you can have something to eat, you can have a little run around, and then it's bedtime. We'll give him a minute, see if he comes. Oh, hello. Come on, you. Simon. Come on, mate. <laughs> You're a good boy, aren't you? Come here. Come here. Oh. All right, let's pop you in there a minute. Do you want some food? Yeah? Do you want food? Yeah? Okay, look, there's some food there for you. Do you want it? All right, let's go get Magoo. Come on, then. You coming? Magoo. Come on, baby. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Come on, then. Yeah. 
Where are you going? Come on. Come on, little fella. Look at that little face. All right, let's get you in there so you can have some food as well. And if I go this way round. There we go, baby boy. No, he's obviously not hungry. He's eaten loads today, so if he doesn't eat much this evening, I'm not overly concerned. Oh, no, he is eating. That's the main thing. Okay, I'm going to leave them there to eat for a moment. I'll come back and check on them shortly. Right, so these two are both waiting to come out. So we'll get Magoo out first. Come on then, baby. Come here. You have to come around so I can pick you up. Oh, right. There's one. Which way is he going to go? Okay, so he's coming back this way. And then this little fella. Simon. <laughs> come on then. Come over here. Here. Are you going to eat a bit more, are you? Look, my brother's out there. Mate, come here. Come here, Simon. Come here. Oh, right. Okay, so Magoo has just gone in the cat basket. What are you doing, mate? Simon is now over there. I'm watching you. What are you doing, Magoo? What are you doing? Hey? He's oh great, he's just pooed on the carpet. Terrific. Right, let me clear that up and I'll come back to these two. Okay, so carpet is now cleaned. Here. Yeah. Come on, baby boy. Simon is running around the back of the sofa. I can hear him. Come on. Simon just wants to play. Magoo hasn't quite got it yet, but they'll get there. Come on then. Here. What's this? You don't want that then. It's going blurry because it's not focusing. What are you doing? Get it then. Get it. That little penguin, he picks it up and he carries that around in his mouth. That's cardboard. Magoo! I'm watching you, Simon. What are you doing? That's it, behind the sofa, he's gone again. They love it behind the sofa, but then that's what foxes do. They like to hide. And this is where they are, in the corner. Both of them keep trying to bite that stand. What are you doing? Mate, Simon, what are you doing? Huh? Oi. I'm watching you. Yes, I am. So yeah, when I can't find them, they're in this corner behind the sofa. Talk about 
wreck the joint, huh? You trying to wreck my joint? I think you are. Okay, so here we have Simon and Magoo. You can see the difference in size, can't you? Simon's definitely beginning to look more fox-like, whereas Magoo is still very cub-like. But they're both little cuties, aren't you? Are you a cute boy? Are you a cute boy as well? Are you? There we go. Shall we have a little selfie? How cute is that? Go look at the camera. That's it. Well done. Well done, boy. Mwah. Mwah. Right. Go on, have a run around again, and then you can go to bed. Okay? There we go. Two little loves.